My name is Kara. You can't do that. You why aren't you sending a real person? Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Outside the city, I'll let her go. Been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. 
You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go. Your favorite foods? That would really help me.
doing? Uh, I'm playing. Playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Make it up. Faster. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let me see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. I don't want to. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. 
Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Plato's Republic. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> That is a perfect copy of 
reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. What are you looking at? 
What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean, you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, 
What the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't... Leave him alone! <laughs> Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. You know what? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. 
Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? Instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? How oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah.
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio-components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write I am alive on the wall? 
He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9? Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. start feeling emotion before he used to beat me and I never said anything but one day I realized it wasn't fair I felt anger hatred and then I knew what I had to do Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Somewhere to spend the night. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time.
Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Allison. Soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? No. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. 
He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey! I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out.
243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it would have been crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try.
We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finished getting ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Lieutenant Anderson. Detroit police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <laughs> It's gone.
Sentinels reports that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detroit police have been working Welcome to Jericho. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. 
your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No, now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? Here you go. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. 
which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please? They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Ah! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! My fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Are you 
use Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please? Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. I erased her memory. No. This can't be happening. You have to remember. For her sake. He likes to play with us. Monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise, the little one will die. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. 
sell them off. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. what you get for having a dream it always ends up the same way tears and disillusionment believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed I almost envy you Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay?
you can! I warned you! Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. Hello, Amanda. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson!
Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife Warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Good job, Marcus. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God 
damn machine? Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! The drone, now this. Just my luck. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks they're full of bio components they run on autopilot but they can be driven manually with a key where is this key down there in the control station there are two human guards we'll have to get the key without being noticed this is suicide Marcus our bags are full we got what we came for let's go before they catch us this is a truck full of spare parts there'd be enough for all of us we can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Did you get it? A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or to love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. 
and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like well, wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Who killed that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... I didn't what see What else any... do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I... I... I, I don't know. I... I don't... I don't know. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? <laughs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Take you to your room. 
Okay, now what? Saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. you kill her she had nothing to do with any of this when that man killed that Tracy I knew I was next I was so scared him to stop but he wouldn't so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving yes I killed him but I was just defending myself I wanted to live I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've... You've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Over there. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. be right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice, sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. 
She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? No. What do you mean? here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. 
Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the eating club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. It didn't want anything, Lieutenant. It was a deviant. That's all there is to it. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two gods. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? What are you doing? about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. 
You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I went to the Eden Club, but I didn't learn anything new. That's disappointing. Looks like another missed opportunity. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. 
Let's make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Okay, Lieutenant. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life.
I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we can do anything wrong maybe they're just scared people are always scared of what they don't know why can't we just talk to each other they'd see we're not bad maybe one day we will i don't know what you like but i made you rose's world famous spaghetti you'll be back on your feet in no time there's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. You can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. 
will I do without her? Let's let them be. You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Police! It's the police! Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. 
Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. something fun. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. 
Unless there's no other choice. won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. 
Now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing.
I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Jesus fucking Christ! This bet's 12457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here.
We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all! After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. 
So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor... If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? 
And be careful. Take care of them. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. As simple as that. Now that you know she's one of us. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive.
We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. yourself. I don't want to lose you. Done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. 
We're all more than that. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. You never wondered who you really are. Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other.
Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? father. We were happy. I was happy. And I didn't even know it. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much.
It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
me, we'll escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking android. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. There's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He's just 
expect something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther, you hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp.
Shit. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. You, you stole my little girl. Security! Over here! Don't do this, Todd. They'll kill us if you hand us in. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. She would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. I miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Follow me! Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? checking for androids on the border but I found a smuggler who can get them across the river it's risky but it's the only way are you coming with us yes we're coming okay climb in Yeah. 
There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. Want to play it like that? Okay. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die, after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. 
Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Saving an android. Everything will be all right, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Shut, shut the fuck up. It's too late. Look, I'm just gonna go see my son again. Right. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. We screwed things up long enough. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh... Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful. There's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side.
Let me help you. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. There are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us! They've gone. You all right? Hora. You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. They killed him! They killed Luther! The boat is leaking! We're too heavy. We're going down. I'm sorry, Luther. interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants demonstration by force this time. North! 
Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. 
we suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. <laughs> the moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive! And now, we are free!